Who would I like you to stand up on your feet? Okay. If you have heels on, do not hurt or injure yourself. And if you have an injury, you don't have to do this. But I'd like you, and everyone be careful, I'd like you to place the weight of your body on your heels. And everybody moves backwards, forwards, and sideways as fast as they can in just the little space that you are. Okay? On your heels as fast as you can. Good. That's fine. Now you can stop. Now I'd like you to bring the center of your weight. And almost imperceptibly, I'd like you to bring the weight forward onto the balls of your feet and make the same movement as fast as you can forwards and backwards to the sides. Great. Good. You can have a seat. 50% of effective communication it happens through the physical. Okay? What we just did was a physical exercise to play with two different kinds of physicality. One is called working in the positive energy zone, and one is called working in the negative energy zone. Unfortunately, we are a society that absolutely loves to live in the negative energy zone. Where are most of you sitting right now? We have, all of this re we have all these verbal reinforcers that make us love to live here. We're the leisure class. Kick back, lay back, mellow out, chill out, calm down, be cool, relax, peace, love, oh, I love it. I love living back here. We have a tendency to teach from the same because it makes us look like we're not nervous. But it is very ineffective to let your energy move back behind you. That's not where you want your energy to go. It's these people that are giving up their valuable time and, even more importantly, paying you out of your pocket to listen to you disseminate information to them. By bringing yourself into the positive energy zone, it helps keep them connected on you for longer periods of time. It's one of the most valuable and effective tools I know in quality communication. 50% of effective communication happens through the physical. That's how much space you're using, if you're moving around or not. Remember that professor that stood behind the lectern? Hey, class, welcome. I'm going to change your life. We get bored with those really fast. 40% of effective communication happens through the voice. That's volume, pitch, vocal variation, dynamics, placement, tonality, and what I call vocal energy. 10% of it are the words. Okay? Would everyone, nerves cause tension, I'd like you to make a really tense fingers, hands, and forearm. Hold it out in front of you here and make it really tense. Because if nerves cause tension, we're going to make this more until it starts to shake. Make your hands start to shake more. Add more tension into it. The arm is shaking. Good. So it's really good and nervous. Now will you command your hand to relax? OK, good. Now leave it there. Will you take your other hand to give it a little, a little shake up and down and back and forth? And don't hit your neighbor. And don't let your jewelry fly off. And don't hit the chair or the table. It really hurts. A little bit more than that. Come on, this is the Richard Simmons part of the day. So everybody's got to do this. <laughs> Good, nice, nice, good. All right, now you can let it stop and let it hang there. There's probably some tingling going on in there. It'll dissipate quite quickly. All right, now I want you to make a comparison. Which hand feels more relaxed? How many say the one you shook out? Let me see hands and look around the room. A lot of you, the ones that you shook out. How many say the other one is more relaxed? A few of you. Okay? I'd like everyone to stand up for a moment and step away from the table and spread yourselves out a little bit. Spin one arm around you like this. A little bit more than that. And then spin it to the front. If, or if you're going back frontwards, spin it to the back. Reverse the direction. Okay, good. Now stop. And I want everyone to bring their hands in front of them and match them up. Is one longer? The best way to find relaxation is through movement. We have a tendency to look at nerves as a very negative thing. However, there is one positive to nerves. There's one really good thing about being nervous. When we get nervous, our body creates this magical little chemical. And it is called adrenaline. adrenaline. And what does adrenaline give the human energy? It gives you energy, which is the key ingredient to giving a good presentation, a good class, a good training session in the new millennium. So for some of you that you don't like that state of being nervous, 
if you can look at that like a coin and flip that coin over so you're looking from the negative side to the positive side and start to welcome nerves a little bit because it's going to give you that nervous energy. One of the most important ingredients to giving a good training session, a good HR session, a good presentation in the new millennium is passion and energy. If you are not passionate about what it is that you're trying to share with another individual, if you don't care deeply about it, if you're not emotionally involved in it, there is no way you can expect your audience to be interested in hearing it. Think about the makeup of your audience and how you're disseminating information to them. If it's all chronological and linear and you've got a younger group, maybe you want to switch that State up. State your objective as you walk toward the audience. The purpose of tonight's program is to share with you techniques that I use in the theater with actors that I think are applicable in your day-to-day -day lives in the business profession. Talent resides in the subconscious and we do not have direct access to it. And what you can improve is skills and technique. If you work your skills and your techniques and hone them and bring them to a specific point, you can be so good that that carries you through each of your presentations and performance. There are a lot of actors that don't have a great deal of talent that are brilliant technicians. So why not take all those similarities and use the techniques actors use to improve your presentations. Use them to be more relaxed and confident in front of crowds. To use the space more effectively and dynamically. To learn powerful new nonverbals. And most importantly, learn to keep the audience's attention on you for longer periods of time. If you'd like to learn more or have your personnel take advantage of these techniques I have to share, please contact me at gjustice at vt.edu or call 540 Two three one five five three six. Seminars can be adjusted to run anywhere between one and eight hours and tailored for large or small groups. Please see the brochure that accompanied this promotional video for a list of corporations and business organizations that have already taken advantage of these workshops. Thank you for considering my seminar, The Art of Business, using acting techniques in training, presentations, and corporate communications. Oh, and if you're wondering how workshop attendees respond to these workshops, they never hesitate to tell us. But I thought this was a very fascinating. And the, the techniques that are, that are used, he not, he not only explained them as far as verbally, but he demonstrated them. And not only just in a, uh, a wooden fashion, but also in a very playful, entertaining fashion, getting people involved. I really thought it was, it was very entertaining and, and very, very helpful. It's been a long time since I've been to a workshop that I got so much out of. Um, usually, you know, you go and you're like, oh, it's, you know, a review, one or two things that I can take out of it, but it, it really was well worth the time. It was wonderful. I learned a lot. Um, I plan to apply it tomorrow at work. I'm a training programs developer, and I don't present a lot, but um, I felt that it was... Um, applicable to um, developing curriculum as well as presenting it. I really didn't know what to expect when we arrived having an actor who was going to speak to us. What I found really impressive is he had some very specific applicable things that really help improve your ability to teach a class and maintain a class's um, attention and perspective through the whole training program. So I was very pleased. Super.